Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Rousselt and welcome to my Duff programming series. So it's currently 5 a.m. Um, I had an all-nighter. I didn't sleep last night at all um, because I bought an uncapped um, data bundle from um, midnight until um, 6 a.m. So I was basically on the internet all night and I have school today. So yeah. Anyway, today we're going to be learning, um, well not learning, we're going to be, um, yes learning, we're going to be learning how to um, use an if statement with multiple conditions, like we did in a previous video, but in a, but to, um, but in a, but in a, in a different way today, so yes, here's our edit, edit, edit component and a button, so let's start coding. Let's add a variable, let's call it is data and it's of it's of type string. We'll store this oops not date. We'll store the we'll, we will store the edit once text in it. And basically we want to check so there's plenty of ways to do this. I'll show you how we how we how we would have done it in, pre in the previous videos. I'm sorry guys if I sound a bit weird. As I said, I'm tired. I haven't slept. I haven't slept yet. Show message. It matches. That's what matches. Matches. So basically, if, if, if this is true, then it will display it matches. So we'll say if is data, you can say equals a. Or B so basically we can have plenty of these for each um, character so we basically wanted to check that if it is any of these characters in the edit box so if we add E to it it will display or if we add F it will also display but there's an easier way to do this if you just say if s data in a until f basically that's what check if um, the s data is within these things but this is um char character values so we'll just have to Add the first character. That's basically how we do it. It compiles, so it checks if it A is in there and it displays. So, for instance, G won't be in there. So now we, so now we can, for instance, check if the alphabet's in there. This is it. We can also do it separately, like we can just say B, C, D, E, F. So that's basically how it was with all the OR um, ones. So that's, that's basically what I wanted to learn today to you guys. Um, you can also use numbers, for instance, until 100. Then we'll just have to convert it. Um, to a number, or you can just make it of type integer from above here, and then string to int, so basically if it there um, 500, then we'll shoot display, Oops, no, it should not display. I made it to type a thousand. If it seems it can't go that far, just leave it 100. We'll just add in the 50 then. So 50, it displays. If you ask for 500, it won't because 500 is too much. You can ask for 100, it will also display then. So this is basically also a way to have multiple conditions in an if statement. 
Right, that's yeah, that's basically it for this video. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.